Hello friends, happy Friday. It's Allison and I am dropping in to share with you a new scrapbooking layout that I created for the Scrapbook Nerd online shop. It's actually for their fall online crop that is happening this weekend. There is a challenge attached to my layout as well, which is change. I am documenting some changes that we are experiencing in our home right now. The girls are getting older and wanted to move their bedrooms downstairs. And so over the last several weeks, we have been working on getting everybody resettled. And so that is where the idea came for the theme for this layout. Um, and you are going to be challenged to create a layout about change as well. And you can choose any theme that you want using the word change. So I am using Vicky Booten Print Shop to create this layout. It is a six by eight scrapbooking layout. It is going inside a page protector and it is also a traditional layout once again. I'm still waiting on my Cricut. It should hopefully be here early next week. And um, yeah, so it's all going to be traditional and not hybrid. I'm working on adding my photos right now. They're going in a column on the left-hand side of the layout. The two top photos, you can see me writing 1.75 in each of those boxes. There's two other photos that I wanna add, but they are saved to an external hard drive, and it's gonna take me a long time to find the pictures that I want to add to those spaces. So I created little space holders so that when I do find those photos and I print them off, I can add them to those spots there. The two photos at the bottom, complete the story as far as the photos go. Um, just a little inside information. The top photo is going to be a picture of when the girls were babies. Um, I have a picture of them in their bedroom, in their cribs. They shared a room at one time. And then the next photo is going to be when um, I occupied Addison's now old bedroom as my craft room. And that is the next picture below, which is of her sleeping over the side of her bed. And then the last photo is my new updated, um, removed, removed <laughs> office to Marin's old bedroom. We have come full circle in our house, which I think is pretty neat. I kind of explained that in my journaling as well. Um, which you'll see coming up a little bit later on. Miss Ava keeps dropping into photobomb and say hello. So as I was nattering on, you saw that I added some die cuts from Vicky Booten Print Shop to the top um, right hand of the layout. I also added some pattern paper from the 6x8 paper pad. I'm not sure if the 6x8 paper pad is available in the shop right now. If not, I know the 12 by 12 um, paper pack is, but I will make sure to link everything in the description box down below so that you have an easy, easier time finding it. And then I added some chipboard stickers to the embellishment title cluster at the top of the page. And at the bottom, there is another chipboard sticker phrase that says this is really awesome and then I'm going to add that heart which is also chipboard above it as well. The sticker on the back of that heart um, got torn off so I used liquid glue to attach it to the layout as well as the other chipboard pieces as well. So if you notice you can see that there are some pencil lines that I had made in the space between which was reserved for my journaling. I realized after I got the lines penciled in that what I had to say using my own handwriting was not going to fit in that space. So I went back to the computer, typed it out, printed it out on some extra white cardstock and then placed it over top of those lines and then erased what was left poking from behind. That's my layout today, friends. I hope you enjoyed my video and I hope you are inspired to join us for the crop this weekend. I'll be back again soon. Bye guys.